Hello friends and welcome to day two of the Let's Get Blitzen cocktail advent calendar. Last year, one of the most popular cocktails from the whole calendar was the snow-capped cafe au lait made with both vodka and vodka cream. So now I have the unenviable task of trying to outdo my damn self, okay? I have to come up with a even more delicious, even more popular cocktail using vodka and vodka cream, but I think I may have managed it with the candy cane vodka fizz, which we are about to prepare together. If you've been living under a rock, vodka is a fabulous distillery based in Almont, which is in Lanark County, which just so happens to be the birthplace of James Naisbeth, the creator of basketball, um, and Ontario's maple syrup capital. So there you go, more, more, the more you know, the more you know. So this year, I wanted to create a cocktail that was inspired by some of my favorite holiday baking, a peppermint melt away. And if you don't know what a peppermint melt away is, it's basically a sugar cookie that has crushed candy cane on top and it has some um, peppermint extract in the cookies itself. So it tastes delicious like a candy cane. And so I wanted to create that same experience, but in a cocktail format and my good friends at Vodka blessed me to infuse their fantastic vodka with a candy cane. So I know some of you reported that your candy cane infused vodka turned out the color of dishwater because you used a candy cane that had both green and red ribbons. So next year I'll include a pamphlet on color theory in the Let's Get Blitzen Cocktail Advent Calendar ebook so we can avoid ugly cocktails. But nevertheless, I will still share your images in my story with a note next time red candy canes red 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 and white that's gonna get you this lovely vibrant poinsettia red hue that's what you want let's go ahead and get started we are going to dry shake and wet shake in addition to our candy cane infused vodka you're gonna need your vodka cream you're gonna need your rosemary syrup you're gonna need a fresh lemon you're gonna need some soda water to top it off and of course wouldn't be a fizz if we didn't have egg white. So I have my egg here in a little bowl of lukewarm water because the egg white is going to froth up better and faster if we work with a room temperature egg, okay? Key notes, key notes. Only shake one at a time, even if you're serving a crowd because you don't wanna end up with egg on your face. I speak from experience, it's a messy debacle. And let's just try to avoid that. Two ounces of our candy cane infused vodka into our shaker tin. And then an ounce and a half of vodka cream. So if you weren't aware of vodka's fabulous story of sustainability and innovation, allow me to regale you, my friends. So we know if you've ever been on any kind of distillery tour, that all alcohol is made by fermenting sugars. The type of sugar changes from spirit to spirit. So in the case of vodka, what makes it unique is the type of sugar that they use to create their fabulous vodka. They take the leftover milk sugars from the production of dairy products. So there are 3,500 or so dairy farmers in Ontario, three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice in Ontario. They send all of their raw material to gigantic dairy processing plants, three quarters of an ounce of rosemary syrup. And once it gets there, the cream is skimmed off the top to be used in butter and ice cream. And then the, con the milk, concentrated milk proteins are used to create ultra filtered milk. Um, and that goes into yogurt and cheeses. And then what's left at the end of both of those processes is what's called milk permeate, which is the super sugar rich material, which prior to vodka snapping up all of this, what was previously considered a waste byproduct of dairy processing, dairy farmers would have to dispose of that at you know some cost to the environment, their own cost as well. So vodka is like really just kind of closing the loop on this process and putting it back into the system into a delicious, Vodka, and now also vodka cream. So if that isn't cool, then I don't know what you think is cool, folks, because that's science. And although I know very little about it, science is, is neat in my opinion. 
Okay. Egg white. Carefully. Without the yolk. Ideally. We're making a mess. Into the shaker tin. Slowly. She's shy. She's shy. There we go. We did it. Let's just clean up. You're going to need straws for this as well, folks. We need to make sure that our hands are dry so we can get a nice firm grip on our shaker tin. If you haven't visited the distillery in Almont, I highly recommend you do so. Firm, firm grip on this, okay? Because it's gonna, the egg white is going to expand inside of our shaker tin and we really would like to avoid it exploding on our cashmere sweaters, right? Right. Dry shake, dangerously. Living on the edge. Don't say I don't serve you excitement. Don't tell me Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie, it is. And I won't hear any other opinions on the map. Yeah, little, little pop, little explosion. Let's tidy up here before we add our ice and shake again to chill and dilute our delicious ingredients. If you haven't had a peppermint melt away, this cocktail will probably remind you of candy cane ice cream. So, you know. I think this would be a perfectly suitable stand-in for dessert. So something to think about as you're preparing. I'm using a fizz glass or a Collins glass. This isn't a real candy cane, it's made of glass. It's a stir stick. Shake so again. Getting warm. I'm getting a little bit warm. I need someone to fan me down. Fan me. Whew, okay. Now we will pour this into our glass. And we will let the foam look at that color. That's why I wore pink to match the drink. Yes, I'm always coordinating with the cocktail because you can't tell me otherwise. You cannot. You cannot tell me otherwise. I am a. A woman with a cause. We're just gonna give that a few seconds. In other good news, if you can't make it all the way out to Elmont, Elmont has come to you. Yes, that's right. From this Friday until December 24th, every Friday night from five to nine and Saturday and Sunday from 11 to six, I believe, they have an Elmont outpost located at 62 York Street in the Byward Market where you can do all your, your holiday shopping, pick up some lovely gifts, from creators from Elmont, including vodka, Equator Coffee, Hummingbird Chocolate, and Fulton's Maple Syrup. I'm going tonight, I know I said Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays, but I'm special. I'm a little bit special. Look, look, I created this with vodka. It comes with some privileges, okay? It comes with some privileges. We're gonna see it's going to develop. It just takes a second, you know? It just takes a second. And then once you'll see, it's gonna get nice and white foam at the top and then like even more pink at the bottom. And then we'll top it off with a little bit of, of soda water. We'll put our straws in and we'll, we'll go to town. We'll share a cocktail together, how about it? I think you want to. I think you'd like to have a drink with me, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? That's why you're here, right? It's not the recipes, it's the personality. That's what I think anyway. Okay, I'm impatient. We're gonna to top it off with our soda water. Whoa! Whoa! Hold your horses, kitten. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's gonna, it's gonna do the thing. You saw it in the pictures. I just wanna drink it now. Cheers! Candy cane vodka, oh, there it is, see? Can you see the separation? Yeah, there it is, there it is. Oh boy, that is life affirming. That's how I would describe this cocktail. Those are my tasting notes. Mm. And I just feel so gosh darn cute drinking it. It's like I'm, it's like a adult milkshake. I should also say that Vodka Cream is Canada's first lactose-free dairy cream liqueur. 
It is less sweet than other cream liqueurs, which I prefer. I like that. Not too sweet. Starts with the heat of the vodka, the vodka base, and then subtle, smooth, sultry, rich, buttery, creamy notes to round it up. What more could you want? I just think this is just so darn cute. Cheers. See you tomorrow for day three of the Let's Get Blitzen cocktail epic.